What's up guys, we're here with Black Arch and we're going to get Burp Suite up and running. Burp Suite does ship with Black Arch, but it doesn't appear to work out of the box. We're going to get it working in this session. Now the first thing to do is just to check if it's installed, so we can run a pacman-ss Burp Suite. And it should be installed by default. But assuming it's not, you can use the command sudo pacman hyphen capital S burp suite. Type in your password for sudo and that will install burp suite. We don't need to do that right now since it's already installed. So we can launch burp suite by simply typing burp suite. And we get this error message, unrecognized option dash dash illegal access equals permit. Unless you've seen this error message before, it's a little bit cryptic where this error message is actually coming from. It's coming from the Java runtime environment itself. This is not an error from Burp Suite. It's an error from Java. And when Burp Suite is being run in the Java runtime environment, Java's being provided with this extra flag, illegal access equals permit. But Java's saying, okay, doesn't recognize that as a valid option. Now the reason for that is the version of the Java runtime environment that's being used. And it just so happens that Arch Linux has a helper for that. And the command is Arch Linux dash Java. So let's just type that and see what we get. So we have our various options here. The first is status, and that's going to list installed Java environments and enabled one. So let's type that right now, Arch Linux Java, and we'll give it the argument status. And we can see all of the available Java environments. So these are the ones that are installed currently. So we've got Java 11, 17, 7, and 8. But we can see that the default Java version that's going to be used here is Java 8. Well, guess what? That dash dash illegal access equals permit, that didn't come around until Java version 9. So we have an obvious problem here. We need to change the default version of Java that's being used so that that flag makes sense. So we have this option set, and then we can input the Java environment. So let's run that right now. It's going to be Arch Linux dash Java set, and then we can just copy the name of that available Java environment. So it's going to be Java dash 11 dash open JDK. Now it gives us the warning there, the script must be run as root. That's no problem. Let's just tag sudo onto the beginning of that, provide our password. Now, when we type Arch Linux, dash java status version 17 should now be set as our default or at least it would be if i'd set version 17 as our version so let's just fix that then if we run arts linux java status again now we can see default is java version 17. so now java is going to recognize that flag so let's run burp suite in fact, you can see the message there, it doesn't even care about that flag anymore. It says support was removed in version 17. Either way, we can see Burp is now firing up. Now that's basically it for Burp Suite up and running. So feel free to stop watching here if that's all you wanted to do. We're actually just going to connect Burp to the browser and make sure that traffic is correctly proxying from the browser through Burp Suite for both HTTP traffic and also HTTPS traffic. So let's just start a temporary project with the BERT defaults. So here we are with our Firefox browser. The first recommendation I'm going to make is to grab this extension called Foxy Proxy. You don't need it. You can set up the proxy settings within Firefox itself, but it's a bit of effort to keep switching between proxying through port 8080 and then going back to regular browser usage. This allows us to switch very quickly. We're going to set up the proxy right now. I'm going to add a new proxy going to set it as HTTP proxy IP is just going to be localhost or you know 127.0.0.1 the port is going to be 8080 since that's where burp is going to be listening we click save now when we check out the foxy proxy extensions icon here at the top we have the choice between leaving it turned off or using our localhost 8080 proxy and it's really just as simple as clicking between the two if we want to proxy traffic through localhost 8080. So let's turn that on for now. Let's go to the target tab in Burp. And we're simply going to visit www.example.com since we're allowed to use that in these types of videos. 
and we can see that the traffic is being proxied through burp and we have the results of that HTTP request. Now that's regular unencrypted HTTP traffic. Let's assume that we wanted the encrypted version of this. So we're going to head to HTTPS www.example.com and we get an error. And obviously when connecting using HTTPS, the first thing that the browser is going to look for is a valid SSL certificate. Now it's not actually connecting directly to example.com. It's actually connecting via HTTPS to the burp suite proxy. So it's actually the burp suite certificate that's going to be important here. And right now, Firefox is saying, hey, I see this SSL certificate from Portswigger CA, the guys behind Burp Suite, but I don't know if this is a valid certificate. So I'm going to show you a warning. So how can we tell Firefox that this is a valid certificate and that we trust it? It's simply the case of going to HTTP Burp Suite. And in the top right, we have this option where it says CA certificate. I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to save it. Let's just put it on the desktop for now. And if we go into settings in Firefox, and by the way, the later versions of Burp actually have a built-in Chromium browser that already has this completely configured. I just really like Firefox. So that's why I usually go through this extra step to make sure the correct certificate is installed. So if we go to privacy and security, scroll down to where it says certificates. Let's go to view certificates and we can import a certificate. We know it's on our desktop. So let's open that. Let's choose both options for trusting the certificate. Let's go to OK. Now, if we refresh our page with the HTTPS, now it's working and it's happy with the certificate. And that's it. We're ready to go to use Burp Suite. We are proxying traffic for both HTTP and HTTPS. So have fun with Arch Linux and Burp Suite. Thanks for watching, guys.